Hey friends, it's Lindsay and welcome back to my channel. So today I feel like doing something just a little bit different than I've done before and I'm going to be doing a Lush haul for you. So anyone who doesn't know what Lush is, it is um, a company that sells um, fresh handmade cosmetics, that's actually the slogan or whatever, and um, they are cruelty free and almost entirely vegan, which is a selling point. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna jump right in. So, holidays are coming up and they already have a lot of their Christmas boxes out. So, a lot of them are wrapped in paper, which is recyclable paper, um, recycled paper, I should say. And um, this one is actually wrapped in cloth, so it's reusable. You can, you can wrap other gifts in it or you can use it as some sort of clothing, whatever, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> um, this one has, I can just show you, it's got quite a few products inside. Sorry for my crazy looking hands. I don't know if you can really read that very well. But uh, I'm gonna be showing you what's inside anyway, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Okay. So my, um, my goal, for videos like these are to not only show you some cool stuff that you can go pick up at stores near you, but also just to have something relaxing to listen to. Um, <laughs> I have to re-say some of this because my camera decided to be weird, rather my phone, whatever. But um, one of the reasons that I'm making this is because with my stress and anxiety lately, I have been finding such comfort in these quiet haul videos, just of, of any kind, or even just like little ASMR videos. This is going to be, as I would say, light ASMR because I don't know how to do any of that fun stuff. <laughs> All right, so I'm not exactly sure what this is. I'll show you. Okay, so I'm, I unwrapped it, of course. Now this is the inside. I these look like it says recycled board. Oh, okay, so this might be a newer thing, or at least new to me, but um, it's like a little game. Recycle, this not wrap game is suitable for playing chess or droughts, droughts? I don't know about games, I'm sorry. Lay out the not wrap, pop out the game pieces from their cards, and away you go. Don't forget to put on your party hat and tell a cheesy Christmas joke. You can also play the Who Am I game with the stickers enclosed, so there are stickers, and use the extra stickers to give special prizes for the winners and some for everyone else too. Okay, so this is for little games. I've got two sheets of those. And then, lo and behold, there are some stickers. Let's check these guys out. Oh, these are cute. Okay, some of them are... Some of them are kind of, like, Christmassy, but some are a little weird. So the nicer, nicer and nicer, I get that. And then the cracker joke comedian and the naughty naughty, okay. But uh, one says, I love sprouts. <laughs> nap or, or top napper and i tried <laughs> maybe like the i tried is like a participation prize for people who played this i don't really know and the other sheet is just winners i'm probably actually i'll probably give these to some of my students because they just did their preview show um for reference i am a voice teacher um at a music school called school of rock and uh, yeah, they just had their preview show this this past weekend and, uh, and two weekends ago. So I give them little stickers for doing a great job. <laughs> I always actually joke that if I gave stickers, I would give them to certain students and uh, now I have stickers. Okay, so this is what the inside looks like. Um, so these packing peanuts, kinda, this is where the ASMR will happen, I guess. But so this is the packing peanut. Maybe you heard that. 
not, who knows. But um, the packing peanuts are actually made of, I believe, pretty sure it was corn. So it's like a corn puff. Doesn't smell like anything except the product. One more for good measure. So yeah, everything is pretty green, um, eco-friendly, biodegradable. Oh yeah, okay, this is a little pack about um, uh, the ethical standpoints of this company. So if you wanna pause that, if you care to read it. So that's what Lush is about. Um, okay, let's go ahead and dive in. Um, some of these products I'm not super familiar with as they are newer, so I will be using the cheat sheet, which is um, the tag of the box. Okay, so, so this is the shape for the Stars Bath Bomb. I have used this many times. I think they've actually changed the shape just a little bit. Um, I'm pretty sure it was spherical all the way through. Now it's got more of that surface where it can sit. Um, So one really cool thing about this bath bomb is, so this part of course is the, um, the baking soda mixture that will fizz in the tub, but this part right here is more of a bath oil. So it's like a solid bath oil. So this one's super moisturizing. Um, and if you like a little glitter on a night when you're feeling sassy and you want some glitter on your skin, this is definitely the bomb. It's the bomb, the bomb.com. I know, I'm a dork, I'm sorry. Okay, so the next one, I think this one, yes, here we go. I might actually have two of these today because I bought two different boxes, but um, this is the candy cane. This is actually a bubble bar, so it's a little bit different. Um, so hence the name, bubble bar. This will not fizz up, it won't give you um, the nice bath bomb experience, but it's even cooler, I think, because um, it makes bubbles. So you can do it one of two ways. You can take little bits of it, crumble it under the stream of water, or um, a another way to use it, which might waste the product a little faster, but this is actually how I use it, is I just hold it directly under the stream. Um, but uh, you know these bubble these bubble bars they will not do anything if you just drop it into the water. Um, back when I was well, a teenager, still when I first started using Lush, I made that mistake thinking this was just the same as as a um, bath bomb, and I was so wrong. I was so disappointed. I thought the product was like faulty or <laughs> defective or something. Um, okay, Hardy Popper Bubble Bar. Okay, so this is another bubble bar. Um, mm. Okay, so it smells kind of citrusy to me. The description says, have a ball with a celebratory bubbler that dashes, or I'm sorry, that dazzles with real popping candy. Okay, so this is one. Oh, you can probably see it in the bottom, actually. I don't know how good the focus is, but um, you can see the popping kind of things. You throw it in the water. Uh, you don't throw this one in the water, in fact. This is, yeah, this is a bubble bar. So it'll probably, probably the popping stuff goes into the water and it pops eventually. Well, we'll see. That's something I'd be interested in figuring out how they incorporated the popping parts with a bubble bar instead of a bath bomb. Because I've only ever had anything popping in a bath bomb because it's more practical. It's already fizzing in still water. I'm not really sure. How would you be able to tell if it was popping if it was under a stream of water? You know what I mean? Hmm. We'll, we'll find out. Okay. This is so cute. Okay. I don't know if this is new, but I've never seen it before. Um, okay, so it's the Snowman Finger Puppet Bath Bomb. So just as the name suggests you can put it right on your finger. This is probably a lot of fun for younger people. Um, you know, kiddos who want to have a nice lush bath like their parents might, or their siblings, you know. Um, 
This is adorable. Oh. It's so funny to just have my like bony ass finger post po poking up like that. But that smells really nice. Um the thing the thing about a lot of the lush scents is that especially when they're in a box like this, the smells kind of all go together. Like they run they run into each other, I guess, and then everything kind of smells like each other. Like every one smells just like the other one it was sitting next to. In the store, when you pick out bath bombs by themselves, it's a little bit easier to separate the scents. Um, so, so what I'm telling you is, it's very hard to describe what any of this really smells like. <laughs> I will say, let me see. This has got a hint of this. This is, of course, a little bit minty, you know, candy cane and such. Um, let me read the description. Enjoy a bath with this little buddy packed with soothing oat flour and a candy cane scent. There we go. Makes sense. Okay. What is next? Oh, this is cute. Oh, okay. This one's called the Gift Horse. Let me smell it first. Still can't identify it. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, look how cute though. I mean, some would think it's cute. Maybe some thinks it's some would think it's horrifying, but I I think it's cute. You know what? It kind of also maybe looks like a caricature of one of our presidents. Okay. And then last is one that I have used multiple times. Um, just pack these ones up really quickly before I move on. So this is the dragon's egg. So as you can see, it's got a lot going on here. So, um, this little green part right here, or maybe it's, yeah, it's like a teal. It's showing up in the cameras a little greener than it is. I'm a little bit worried about the backdrop, but we'll see what happens. Um, so anyway, dragon's egg. I will say this does have an identifiable smell, mostly because I'm so used to it. Um, so it's got a little jasmine in there. Um, and then when you put it in the water, it's nice because it looks white mostly from the outside. But when, uh, when it starts fizzing up in the water, you get all of the colors that are inside. If I am not mistaken, this actually turns into a nice orange color because I, I do believe the orange inside of it is a little more prominent than the other colors. So, um, so you, you have a nice soothing orange bath in the end. Okay, let's go ahead and move to the next box. Okay, so here's the next box. Secret Santa. So inside is, okay, as suspected. <laughs> so I do have two candy canes today. Um, and also the Magical Santa bath bomb. So I'll go ahead and open this. Um, there's no sense in showing you the other candy cane. That wouldn't make a lot of sense, would it? But I'll show you the little Santa. And so as I said, all of the paper is recyclable. So as I said, all of the paper is recycled. So on the inside, it kind of explains all that. I really messed it up when I unwrapped it. Um, I apologize. Yes, so this is 100% recycled paper. Okay. I don't know if I actually put tape on this one. <laughs> Silly people. Had to put some force into that. Let's 
is the girl struggling to open up a Lush box. Okay. All right, so. Okay. Oh, this is wonderful. I love the layers, look at this. I'm doing a mukbang. Um, this is exquisite, in fact. I didn't expect it to look this good. Sometimes when, you know, um, more detailed ones like this, when they're shipped, they get kind of messed up, but no, it's good. It smells good. You like how I took a whiff right as I was talking about how it looked? So I'm getting a little, I'm getting a very sweet taste, or I'm getting a very sweet smell from this. It's kind of comparable to their Plum Rain smell. Um, let's read about this little Santa. So a full on rainbow firework display in the tub from our jolly old Santa. I'm excited. I can't wait to see that. I also bought two little soaps, so. This is one of the pear soaps. I actually don't recall the name of this soap. If anyone can remember, or anyone has Google handy, go ahead and Google it please and let me know in the comments. But um, I mean, this smell is unmistakable. This is such a wonderful, spiced pear smell. It just smells like, it smells like when you order or when you make, <laughs> it shows that I don't cook anything. Just that nice warm pear with cinnamon smell. Oh, oh, that smells so good. Mm. Okay, cannot wait to make that. And I've used that one before. Um, when I used to work at Lush, they had that in the bathroom and so I would go and make sure I washed my hands like 50 times <laughs> just so I could smell like it. So this little guy, I also, I'm so sorry I don't know his name. I'll, I'll write the names of these in the lower third perhaps, or um, if I don't get around to it, let me know in the comments. But um, so this little guy, as I said, I used to work at Lush. No surprise there, I look like everyone who has ever worked at Lush and who will ever work at Lush. But, um, so when I was there, it was just a seasonal position, um, we had this amazing smell, um, it was a soap called Snow Cake. And it was just this nice, light, almond, marzipan kind of scent. It was just delicious. And um, this year I have not seen Snow Cake. Um, last year they did bring it back, the year prior it wasn't there. It's kind of maybe every other year they have it. But this right here, this little guy, is the closest to snow cake that I smelled in the whole store. So I had to get it. It's just like, yeah, very nice almond Mars pan kind of smell. Mmm, wonderful. Okay. Let me go ahead and just put these on. Okay, the final thing is Mask of Magnamenti. I always pronounce this wrong. When I worked there, it was it was always a little bit difficult uh, for me to pronounce it. So I would just say like Mask of Magnamity, which is not, it's Magnamenti. Magnamenti, that's how you pronounce, I think, I don't know. But um, this is cool. This is one of their face masks, but it's not a fresh face mask. So anyone familiar with Lush, um, you might know that their fresh face masks actually have to be refrigerated. This one is one that does not. Um, I believe it is one of, mm, one of two or three maybe that they currently have in stores that do not require um, refrigeration. This of course, hence the name, has a very minty smell. Um, I like this in the winter time, especially, just like really any peppermint product or mint product, um, because it helps kind of wake up your skin. It just kind of gets you ready to go, especially on those really cold days when you don't want to do shit. So um, yeah, this is the kind of thing that I love. And then also, 
Back in the day, there was a body wash called Freeze, which had the exact same smell, just like the Outback Mate soap. Um, I, th I think it was called Freeze, I'm pretty sure. But it was nice and cooling. Um, so it was nice in the summer to cool you down, but it was also nice in the winter to wake your ass up. And uh, yeah. Okay, so um, I kind of would like to do a little demonstration for you um, as to how the bath bombs look when they are swirling around and fizzing around in the water. Um, so I'm gonna shift gears here, go get some water, and we're gonna do this. it is the smallest and probably the weakest link he's got a hole in him okay the water is a little too hot for him so <laughs> to be honest I've never seen a bath bomb act this way the water must be like really hot. a little bit of this one we don't have to do the whole thing that's another cool thing about lush products you don't have to actually use the entire thing um, they're not easy to just break apart the the bath bombs aren't at least the bubble bars are they're quite um quite easy to break and cut up these ones though you can just kind of with these guys pretty orange. Stare into the orange abyss. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that you liked it. Um, I did change it up a bit and I will continue to change it up until I find something that I truly enjoy doing. Um, so if you do like it, please let me know in the comments. Um, please like, subscribe, share, what have you. Um, and I will see you next time. It's like I'm stirring the witch's brew. Smells really good.